country craft corner how in the world are you guys doing today it is so good to see you again and thank you so so much for stopping back by to see what i'm up to and what i'm up to today is the bunnies have hopped a lot of them already have hopped over here to the table and as you can see here chris has put me a ben here next right next to me and he is going around and collecting all of the little bunnies <laughs> Uh, I've reminded him where I put bunnies and as I started to say, well, I've got some in that hutch and I've got some, that, some in Mooney's hutch and I've got some, you know, over on the secretary and I've got some, I didn't realize I had done so much. I did more than I thought you guys. So but anyway, I'm going to come to you today with, uh, probably more fast motion, me wrapping up bunnies and putting them in bins and things like that. Uh, and then after I'm done packing up bunnies, I'm going to share an Amazon haul with you. And then that'll be it for this one. But, it, you know, it's going to take me a while to put all of these bunnies away and to wrap them. I have uh, a bubble wrap sitting here that was that I put back in this bin after I emptied it out. So let me pull this up. And I also have a few bunnies. If you can believe it, I still even have more bunnies in here. I didn't pull out the pink bunnies I have so for this year. So I am going to start packing things up and probably will go into fast motion. We'll probably put my camera down and point it into the bin so you can see me filling up the bins. <laughs> Chris is behind the camera just picking bunnies up. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. We're a mess over here. It is a weird day weather-wise here in Virginia. We've had a cold front start to come through here, and we had thunderstorms and wind, and it's supposed to be really windy through tomorrow, and the temperatures are supposed to drop like a rock. Chris has brought all his plants in that he can carry in because we're supposed to get a frost and all kinds of business here at the end of, you know, moving toward the end of April. This is craziness. This is some crazy weather we're having. But anyway... My knee is even better today, although I did do a little bit of walking around here last night, pulling bunnies down and just sitting them here on the table, but I do it in little um, spurts. I'll do some and then I'll sit down and then I'll do others. And um, let me start out with that one, honey. As a matter of fact, y'all remember this beauty that is gonna get put away. Isn't she cute? I just love her. But she's going to get put down in, into this bin first, I think. And, uh, but anyway, so it's it's some crazy time here in, here in Virginia today with this weather. But uh, I was going to leave her out and leave her in the dough bowl, this one. But then I decided not to because... So I'm going to get started. Uh, wrap it up some bunnies and then I'll be back to talk with you more and to share a little haul from Amazon with you. I still haven't gotten everything that I've ordered, you know, from my patriotic, but things are coming in drips and drabs and I will show them uh, from Amazon and I do have a couple pairs of shoes to show you from Skechers. And I did decide on Friday that I am going to probably share my uh, Brighton jewelry and purse purses with you. Although I just shared the purses, but I figured she wanted to see the purses too, the one who said that. So I thought I would do both. You know, I guess show the purses again. I don't have that many, uh, but the jewelry, I have, you know, some jewelry and I'll show that. And then I'll answer whatever questions you guys might have for me. So if you have any questions, leave them in the comments of this video. But for now, we're going to go into some fast motion and put on some zippy music and we're going to get some work done and we're going to get some bunnies hopping into this bin. <laughs> all right. All right. I'll be back. <laughs>
thank you everybody we are finished deconstructing easter well sort of <laughs> mostly all done we're going to there are two uh little bunny left over here this little set <laughs> and one other bunny this guy with the big ears and the long feet uh, that Chris is going to put in a very long, big bin that he has the bunny family in. So he's going to wrap these up and put these in with the bunny family because I'm out of bin space. And uh, uh, we were very productive, very productive, as you saw. Uh, I, mean, I, I was sitting here wrapping and Chris was gathering. And as always, we work as a pretty good team and we got it all taken care of. There's one more towel over there, honey, I just saw on the corner shelf there forgot one towel sorry about the glare coming in it's later in the afternoon than I'm normally sitting here you guys so I apologize for the glare over here that is coming in the windows so I apologize for that it looks a little a little a little glary and whatnot over on that side but hopefully I'm not going to be too much longer here and it'll be okay <laughs> anyway I do have a little bit of a haul to share with you I'll tell you one thing it feels really good I, yes that's that's the one thank you <laughs> I, I, I have to tell you, it feels really good to get the bunnies out of here. And I'm not even going to touch the decor uh, between now and when I start on my patriotic. I'm just going to leave it as is. Uh, it looks like the blue and white decor anyway, because I really did just plug in Easter and I, and I removed very little from the decor in order to do that. So it looks pretty decorated right now. So, but anyway, I do have a haul from Skechers. And uh, well, a couple little things from Amazon to show you. So let me go ahead and show you the Skechers that I got. It's been a long time since I bought Skechers shoes. I bought a pair, oh, one year, a long time ago, on a ship, one of our cruise ships, when we were on our way to Hawaii one year. My feet were so swollen, I couldn't fit them into my sneakers comfortably. That never happens to me now. Now I've learned the secret to have my, for my feet not to swell. My feet never swell in my everyday life. Never, 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 never swell. I don't have any heart problems or anything like that. And my feet just don't swell like that. Uh, ever, ever here at home. But on the ships for several years there, they would swell when I'd get on the ship. And we always thought, oh, the salt, you know, which could be this salt content on the ship food is higher than what I do at home and that's what's causing it. I don't think that's it, to be honest with you. Well, the salt content very well might be higher, goodness knows, on a cruise ship. But what I found was if I wore compression socks uh, on the plane, you know, because you're going up, up to high altitude and then back down again several times on our way across the country, uh, if I wore compression socks, then I don't, my feet don't swell. But anyway, this time, that particular time on the ship, my feet were so swollen and we were fixing to go on an excursion the next day that I was going to be walking up and down steps and walking up and down hills and I needed a comfortable pair of shoes. So they used to sell Skechers. Well, they sell Skechers on board ships. They still do if the ships ever get to sailing again. Thank you so much, CDC. That, that's a story for another day. Anyway... I decided, I, I don't even know what made me look at Skechers. To be, I think it came up in my Facebook newsfeed, to be honest with you. And I thought, oh, these are so cute. So I did buy myself a couple of pairs. I had a coupon and these were both on sale, but look at these, aren't these cute? The little coral, little flats. They only came in, uh, I wear about an eight and a half or a nine. And I will say I bought these in the, the nine because they came in eights or nines, both both pairs of these so I bought the nines and they fit me they fit me fine so I don't know I'm gonna let you choose your own shoe size I don't know I will just say that the nines fit me when I'm really about an eight and a half to a nine it just depends on the shoe you know so but I thought these were super cute they are uh, uh, almost look like an eyelet design look at that isn't that pretty super comfy look at the sole nice and and uh, safe, goodness knows I need to be safe. <laughs> so aren't they cute? So I got those and then I just got a pair of black, just a pair of black Skechers that uh, again, have the nice safe sole on the bottom and they're nice and stretchy. These are really nice. And again, I got these 
Skechers air cooled memory foam. These are called, and these are called, again, air cooled memory foam. So I will give you links to these in the description if I can, if I can find them, if they're still available. So love these. A couple pairs of shoes. Been a while since I bought myself any kind of shoes. So, and I don't want to buy, when I buy shoes, you guys, anymore, I used to buy them when I was in my 20s and 30s, and I'd buy these cute little high heels and these cute little, you know, ankle shoes, which I love, like the ankle strappy shoes. I love those with a nice, like, high-low dress or something like that. I think that's just so, so, so pretty. But, honestly, on a cruise ship is the only time I dress up, and I'm not going to be walking around in high, high heels on a cruise ship when we're doing the rocking into Rolex. No, 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 no. I'm clumsy enough. I don't need to be trying to walk on a cruise ship in high heels. So flats it is for me, usually. I do buy patent leather flats, though, usually to go with my jumpsuits or whatever. So anyway, I got those two things. And then from Amazon, it's coming by dribs and drabs. So I may have some more to show you on Friday. I'm not sure if other things show up. But... Uh, let me show you this greenery first. This is what I got to go in the bottom of those cloches, like I was talking about in Monday's video. And these are just plastic garlands. And they are just super pretty. Look at this from Amazon, you guys. And these were not super duper expensive. Look how pretty. And I got four of these. It comes, with a, it comes in a two-pack. And they even show it on Amazon wrapped in with one another, which I may do. But boy, wouldn't that be a pretty garland to wrap, you know, wrap one around another. But I thought these are so pretty from Amazon. So, you know, I'm going to get these out and let them, you know, kind of fluff them out and whatever. Because, of course, when they've been in a plastic bag, you want to fluff them out. But I love these. I think they're so, super pretty. So, and I think they'll look super pretty down on the bottom of those cloches, you know, just for little Lady Liberty to stand in, or what I'm fixing to show you from Jim Shore to stand in. Y'all know what? I made a mistake the other day too. Oh my heavens to Betsy. I could not believe that I made, a, that I said I was thinking about buying uh, a eagle. And I said in that video, oh, and I bought a little eagle. Well, I had one in my cart and everything, ended up taking it out of my cart at the very last minute, and I ended up buying myself a smaller Jim Shore Angel. Not expensive. She wasn't super expensive, but a smaller little Jim Shore Patriotic uh, Angel that you'll see when she comes in. But this is the one piece that I bought. I don't know whether this one will go in the large cloche or if the other Lady Liberty will go in the large close and this will go in the medium size. But I couldn't resist this. I thought this was super pretty and this was a chunk of change. I just got paid. As a matter of fact, I got paid today. And uh, I paid with, you know, spent my money on this and I know you are gonna say, oh, you don't, don't, you don't have to say how much, you know, that you spent this money or how much you spent or whatever, but y'all know, I, you know, I've been raked over the coals, so. But I did want to buy a nice piece for this to use in those cloches and to use year in and year out. And this is called, y'all know what? Do I have my glasses over here? I don't believe I do. Oh, yes, I do. This is called For Love of Country, Heartwood Creek, Jim Shore. 2021 Jim Shore Designs, licensed by UNESCO LLC. So this is a collector's item. And this is just the tag, but look how pretty. Look at, look that. at that on the bottom, it says freedom. And then we got the Liberty Bell and God bless America, 1776. And the Eagle. Is that not, a, and then the flag flying behind it. It is a beautiful piece, just a beautiful piece. And as I said, it's not huge, but I now, I'll put it up on a pedestal inside there. Hopefully it will fit. I think I'm gonna need to put it in the large one, y'all, you know, because of the wings. 
because I think the wings are gonna to be too wide, but we'll see. We'll see which one it fits in. We'll work on that next week. Isn't this pretty though? I love it. So I'm gonna leave this outside of the box. I'm gonna let it sit right here till next week. And we'll be working with that next week. Isn't that pretty? I love it, I love it. So yes, I did buy it for myself. Yes, I did spend my own money to buy it. And yes, I did choose something a little bit higher end than what you might find like at say at Hobby Lobby or Michaels or something like that. But I wanted, I am a collector of Jim Shore, y'all. So, you know, and I bought it for myself. Not very often that I buy myself collector items, you know? <laughs> Sorry about the chair there in the background. Oh, a mess. <laughs> Look, my hair is a mess. It was raining today. Th I told you, thunderstorms and all that kind of stuff. Goodness gracious. But that is all that has come, unless Chris walks in here with something else while I'm chatting with you. That is all that has come. I have some things coming still, like that little other, that other little Jim Shore angel and uh, the wooden red, white, and blue roses. I've got them coming. And I think I have a top coming from Amazon. So, <laughs> but I'll show you stuff when, when it comes in. And like, like I said, on Friday, I think I will do the Brighton, you know, purses and jewelry, you know, reveal or whatever. I'll show you my collection of Brighton, you know, what I have, what I've been given through the years and what we've purchased on the, mostly on the cruise ships, like I've explained. So, but that's about all I have for you today. I'm a little bushed and it is, like I said, it's later in the day for me to start editing. So I'm not sure how long this one will take me to edit, uh, but I will get it up as soon as I possibly can here on this Wednesday evening, uh, hopefully before the dinner hour or about the time I usually do. So uh, please pardon my appearance. <laughs> I'm a hot mess, but Anyway, I hope that all is well with everybody. Okay, you, know you guys, I'm gonna go ahead and close this out now. Uh, I'm gonna leave a little something special uh, after my final words for you guys. You guys have been asking me over and over again to let me, for me to let you hear my family uh, sing. And uh, I just happened to cross this little bit of snippet of music. I had made a tribute uh, video for uh, for Uncle Don, and I was able to cut this video, cut the video footage down a little bit, so where you just see Uncle Don and my dad, and then my cousin Todd is going to have his the back of him. You will see the back of him, and he's kind of leading us in song. But I'm holding the camera, and you will be able to hear all of us singing our hearts out in this little snippet of music. So stay, stay with me till the very end. I know some of you probably turn off for my final words, but stay with me this time to the very end so you can hear, if you wanna hear, if you would like to hear my family singing a little snippet of a beautiful song that is one of our favorites. So stick with me for those of you who might like to hear that. Uh, but for now, I'm gonna go into my final words and say I hope that all is well with everyone. I hope you all have had a, a lovely uh, Tuesday and Wednesday so far today. And I will be back on Friday with probably that Brighton, you know, uh, reveal, show you my jewelry and whatever purses I have. And I will answer any questions if you leave me any between now and uh, Friday morning. So uh, please leave them in the comments if you have any. So, but let me go into my final words and say, I hope that those of you who might be struggling or suffering with a catastrophic illness or chronic pain, I hope that you have someone there with you, taking care of you, helping you get through each day, making the very, very best out of each day. I hope there's nothing weighing on your minds or your hearts, pulling your attention away from where you want it to be or from where it should be. I love y'all to bits, to bits, to bits, hugs all around. And I keep you in my thoughts and my prayers every single day. And with all that said, I'll just say thanks for watching. <laughs> and I'll just say until next time, y'all take good, good care. Bye-bye. Stay tuned for that song though. Here it comes. Bye-bye. Of Jesus the Nazarene, and I wonder how he could love the sinner who came. And I'm singing how marvelous, how wonderful, and my song. Shall ever be Oh